We are back for a new season of The Walking Dead, which means a new season of Panel to Screen. Each week we break down all the best comic moments from the episode, point out all the radically different plot points, and occasionally force our editor to reference obscure shows like Ghost Whisperer, Firefly, or even Fear the Walking Dead. Oh no, I did it! I did. I'm your separated consciousness, Woody Tondorf, and this is Panel to Screen. Let's start with the epic military battle training. In this episode, Aaron, Michonne, and Daryl lead their people onto a beach to train for a giant horde. It's a very fun time had by all, except for Jerry and Ezekiel, who had to hold a heavy-ass door and ostensibly just walk across the beach and not do anything. In issue 151 of the comics, Dwight also trains his people to fend off a giant horde slash whisperer group. But Dwight's exercise was in the woods, and instead of medieval weapons, they used guns, which are loud and just not as efficient. Moving on to Carol, who returned from sea after doing off-screen boat stuff. Coincidentally, off-screen boat stuff was my first AIM screen name. Ask your parents what AIM was. In this episode, Carol awkwardly greets Ezekiel and then bear hugs Daryl. Between the heavy doors and watching Carol go off into the woods with Daryl on his motorcycle, Zeke is 0 for 2. Since Carol's long dead in the comics, it's actually Michonne who returns from sea in issue 139. Like the show, she's not exactly excited to see Ezekiel. And since Daryl's not in the source material, nor will he ever be, it's Rick who greets her. Moving on to Father Gabriel, who in this episode seemed to really embrace his new leadership role in Alexandria. In issue 151, it's Rick leading Alexandria, but Gabriel steps up and tells him he's ready to be a soldier against the Whisperers. This is mostly in line with his comic counterpart, so look forward to more of that in this season. Now on to the new characters! Let's start with Dante, the town's new doctor who shows up during off-screen hiatus stuff. He seems charming enough if you can look past the cringy jokes. The way you're staring at my mouth is making me warm and tingly inside. Although Dante does come from the comics, his character is completely different from the show. Comic Dante is a hilltop loyalist and soldier who first discovers the Whisperers during a rescue mission gone wrong. He later forms a relationship with Maggie and generally turns out to be a huge help during the Whisperer War. As a result, he and Maggie bang in a room full of spears and it can't smell that great. Next up is Brandon, who in a blink and you missed it moment tried to tell Negan what to do this week. Get back to work. Oh, <laughs> Brandon. Like Dante, Brandon was also introduced to the comics in issue 131. However, comic Brandon is Tammy and Morton's son, and in issue 151 is very bitter after his mom got beheaded by Alpha and his dad killed by Rick. Natch. So what does he do? He lets Negan free from his cell, which Negan thanks him for by killing him. Now, we can't say if Brandon's storyline will mirror the comics, but it is interesting that Angela Kang wrote Brandon and Negan into a scene together. Brandon Death Watch starts now. Speaking of Negan, we got a great scene this week where he advised Gabriel to chill out and lead his people through the Whisperer conflict. In issue 149 of the comics, Negan does the same with Rick, who's also struggling to control his people in this post-heads-on-spikes world. Negan basically gives him the same advice he does in the show, albeit with more colorful language. And that wraps up panel to screen for The Walking Dead Season 10 premiere! As always, a good chunk of the episode did not come from the comics. Stories involving the satellite, the beach, Oceanside, forest fires, or friendship bracelets were exclusive to the show. Also, at this point in the comics, Ezekiel, Carol, and Rosita were dead, and Daryl, Judith, RJ, Dog, Cindy, Rachel, Jules, Jerry, Alden, and Baby Coco simply don't exist. Also, Rick, Carl, Dwight, Maggie, Andrea, and Jesus were still around. See? <laughs> Nearly identical. I'm Woody Tondorf. Hey, make sure to subscribe to our new The Walking Dead podcast, Talk Dead to Me. It's a super fun time. I'm in it. That might deter you, but just check it out anyways. Like and subscribe to Skybound, and we'll see you next week.